Hey, it's Alan. Welcome back. All right, before I wrap this up, I just want to talk about getting the code. Um, I put all the code for the finished project out in on GitHub. So you can just go out to github.com and it's under slash Alan Simpson me slash Blazor Dapper Crud. And then if you like, when you get there, you can just um, download the whole thing as a zip file. It'll go to wherever you normally send your downloaded files, probably your downloads folder. Okay, then go open up that folder. I'm using Chrome here, so that's why it looks the way it does. Once you're in your downloads folder, you can extract all from the downloaded zip file. And then um, open the extracted folder, and inside you'll see a folder with the same name. Open that one until you get to this folder that has a solution file in it. You want to go up exactly one folder level from there using the up one folder button or um, its name in the address bar. And then when you see that folder name by itself in its own folder, uh, right click it, choose rename, and just get rid of the hyphen master at the end. There's no need for that. And um, press enter. And now you can just use that as your working one. Now I already took my original off the desktop so I can just drag this one right out to the desktop and move it there. Then just open it as you would any other Visual Studio project. You can open the folder and double click the solution file or you could open Visual Studio first, go through the open there and navigate to it and open the solution file. Now it does, um, it did come from the internet so you might get some warnings about trustworthiness and there's t actually two projects in there so you, you might get two warnings um, don't worry about that but let me tell you why there's two projects in there the first one in the blazer dapper crud folder is the project exactly as we discussed it in the course so if you go through there all those files should look pretty familiar but you'll need to update those uh, packages and also remember that app settings.json has my connection string in it and that may not be your connection string so make sure you understand that and can get that together on your own because there's nothing I can do to help with that. Now this Blazor Dapper SQL one is really just all the SQL code used in the course. And so if you want to set up exactly the same uh, table and uh, Stored procedures is in the course. You can find that code right in here and just run it in within your own database Each would just be a SQL query like new query in um, SQL Server Management Studio and then execute it from there Now this CRUD code we've been talking about is kind of the same thing table after table So I wrote a little code generator where you can tell it a project name and then go grab the create statement that you use to create a table that you want to write this code for. And the reason why I want you to actually go get that statement is so that, you know, the code generator here knows exactly what's in the table. And find the table in a management studio, right click it and choose script table as create to new query editor window. And that'll give you the exact SQL code for defining the table. Copy that, not the whole thing, just the create statement here. You don't even need the primary key part. Copy that, paste it in here, and click, well, let me show you, that's all in there, okay? And then click go, and then it'll write all that code we talked about in the videos by filling in the blanks where it's unique to this table. It's a little messy, I've only, I haven't put a whole lot of time into it yet, but it, it basically works right now, so if I get it to the point where it's not too horrible. I'll put it out there and uh, put a video on it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye now.